How's it going, everybody? Uh, tonight we will be playing a card game that I got for my wife and I called A Game of Thrones, second edition. The second edition. Boom! In your face. Got any opinions or comments on anything? Um, I like the show. All right, cool. I've never actually seen the show, and um, I've never. I started reading the book in college, actually. I you think did? I, I think I read a little bit, but then it was like three pages, and then I stopped. <laughs> I don't remember why, but anyways, um, like I'm actually watching the show right now. I'm actually on episode one, um, so I played the card game. He doesn't binge watch like normal people do. So I started playing the card game. Um, to test it before I played with Megan so I could learn it and I actually really enjoyed it So that's what actually got me to start watching the show Because I wanted to know what these guys did so tonight we are um, So we'll kind of play for fun and everything and show you how everything is I got a new microphone uh, so hopefully this will take care of the recording issues and We kind of got it set up a little different. So hopefully this works out uh, so we're going to be playing, uh, if you're unfamiliar with the game, then just look it up. But anyways, we're playing with one core set. Um, so I, done a little, I did a little research, and you really can't make much as far as like competitive or legal decks or what this game really is. But we're playing it casually, and we just want to have fun. So it's just as, uh, for a couple game. Um, so in the back of the rule, rule book... Um, there are uh, certain decks you can make for uh, pre-made decks out of the, the how many different houses are there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think in this one, two, three, six, seven, eight. Um, so uh, we're making we're making a uh, pre-made decks out of the rule books. So I'm playing with uh, Targaryen. Is that how you pronounce it? I think. Oh yeah. Targaryen and um, who's the other? Uh, Martell. Martell. Yeah, I'll be playing Targaryen and Martell with the pre-made decks from the core in the back, and these are forty-eight, um, I believe forty-eight uh, total cards in the deck, whereas I believe the legal decks are sixty or higher somewhere in there. So, who are you playing with? Uh, the Night's Watch. And who else? Do I, I have another one? Yeah, you're mixing Night's Watch with Bar Baratheon. Bar How do you say it? Baratheon. Baratheon. Right. Baratheon. So that's what that's what she'll be playing. So it might be. Uh, it's gonna be a. We're gonna start playing this. We play tested it before, so she could learn the rules, and I think she enjoys it. So um, if she does, and I do, I like the game. We'll start playing this too, as well as other games. So. Uh, primarily hero clicks obviously but this will be our alternative so she can not get burned out on that uh, so we already shuffled the decks and got our plot cards and everything so if you don't understand this game just look up the rules and everything we won't discuss that we're just going to uh, record this uh, with us playing this so and we got a little reference sheet here if you can see this was actually printed off from um, I think it was cardsdb.com on the forums there's a guy that made an awesome reference sheet and this thing I would recommend that you get it and print it out the rule book I mean you can use fantasy fly games they do an amazing job of uh, printing rules and everything but this has done wonders for me learning the game I picked it up pretty quick with this so I recommend this and then this one is just the actual rule book uh, phases but pretty much this is this but this has so much more so I definitely recommend that so go go to uh, gamesdb.com for this and it's on the forums you, you'll find it it's a rules reference sheet so this is what ha helped Megan too and it'll, you'll see it'll help us too through things so we'll get started here um, yeah, I'm still kind of learning so yeah Megan's still kind of learning but like I said it's just a casual fun game so we'll go ahead and then we'll see how the the new recording equipment we have and everything works out so game set up first is determine first player so I'll roll first I got a 12 you go first you're going first I okay. got a 16 oh okay 
from them in the future we'll get like I know I have some Magic the Gathering play mats we could probably play on make it better and we'll sleep them um, alright so you won so um, we both will reveal our faction cards so I'm primarily Targaryen and your Night's Watch and now we will draw seven cards alright seven cards two three Seven. And then you can probably, if you want it, right here, that'll be your deck. And then right here, and then I'll try and play right here so they can see it. Try and set up the camera the best we can with what we got. I'll kind of put mine right here. That's good. Alright, so um, remember this is where you play um, eight gold worth of cards, and then you'll turn them face down first. Uh, so you'll go first since you're the active player so you, right now for this phase. So you'll play um, eight gold worth of cards, and then remember you have to p play them uh, face down at first. You always start with eight, right? Eight, eight gold for this phase. So you don't need the gold right now. You just play it. Mm No, playing face down. Oh. We're doing characters. Uh, you're allowed to play characters, locations, and attachments only. And you're allowed to play one limited card too in this phase. The setup face. Is that you? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will play this, I will play this, and I will play this. Alright. And then if we make any mistakes, comment and let us know. But like I said, we're kind of new to this game. Alright, so now we will reveal setup cards. Go ahead and reveal them. I've got call. Is it call? Drogo. Call Drogo, I think. Targaryen loyalist and the estate, or however that says. And you got. Who is she? Is she some? She's a witch. Oh, kind of like a witch. She's a. She's like a. Um, likes to set everyone on fire. <laughs> Hmm. After you marshal or play a card, choose a new character. That's pretty good. Huh. Jeez. Alright, um, so now we have revealed our setup cards. Now we'll do the plot phase. So we'll go ahead and remember, choose a horizontal card here. Choose your first plot. Chose yours, huh? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Play that one. Alright, and now we reveal the plot cards. I've got a clash of kings, and you've got filthy accusations. When revealed, choose a Neela character. So go ahead. Jogo. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be Aquaman. Yeah, I can't wait for that either. Ooh. Yeah, he's hot. Okay. Um, and I only have a uh, reaction. So we'll now compare to see who uh, has the highest initiative. Looks like I do. So I will go first. So I have to take this. Thank you. The throne. Huh? The throne. Oh. Initiative, you have a four, I have a nine. 
Okay. So I go first. Okay. And I'm just gonna take this. That wasn't my cards. All right, so we'll do the draw phase. So each of us draw two cards. And then we will do, you got any actions you wanna play? It looks like there's an action window. I don't think, I don't think so. Okay, so now we'll go into the marshalling phase. Um, I guess I can play another one of those limited so I can play one limited I don't see it it's unique like see the little crosshairs so it's not unique so I'm assuming I can play two of those that's good yeah this is zero. Oh, sorry I had to collect my gold one two three four four gold um those ones hold two Yeah, so one thing about this is, uh, so I read that duplicates, unfortunately, with the, um, I think you could do it with the neutral cards they have, but with one core set, uh, you don't have many options for duplicates. But if we decide to, that we really like this game, then we'll get another one. Uh, let's see. So that's one. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Four. So we definitely play that and that. Okay, so we will nail this one and nail this one to play a Targaryen card for two less. And we will play. This guy. A braided warrior. What's the Dothraki? Dothra is that like a race or something? The, he's in the Dothraki, so oh. they saw. I'm not gonna tell you anything. Okay, okay. You don't want to ruin the show. I understand. No. So I still have four gold. Yeah, I'm gonna get some uh, some custom tokens. So I'm gonna spend two to play another. This is a unique location. And then I'll pay two more to play this guy. Hmm. And I'm out of gold, so now it looks like you're up for marshalling. Sir Jora Mormont. So I get four gold. Yep, so you'll collect your gold first. So you'll get four. Here's your gold. How many seasons are there in this that show? Like six. Dang. Think, but they're gonna break up the last few episodes. What I think. are there more seasons coming out? Mm-hmm. So what? Okay, I'll just. So I don't have to. So you can play four gold worths. You can only play locations, characters, um, attachments. Yeah. You can only play one limited card and one unique card. If not, dead. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and play this guy. For four? Who's that? Mm. Sir Davios Seaworth? Mm -hmm. To get rid of your gold. Throw that into the treasury. Okay. 
All right. What's my what's stealth? Stealth is where if you kneel them, you can choose a character that doesn't have stealth, and then you turn them. Oh. So I can't block. All right. Um. So we'll go into the challenge phase, and I'll initiate the challenge first since I'm active player. And I think. Hmm. Got a strength of three. When he is killed, return him to your hand instead of poison. Wow, that's pretty good. Hmm. Dang, I could have kneeled him too on something. Oh well. No big deal. Uh, so I think I will initiate a. Don't forget about that. See, so you had the roll, roll, lore, lore. Yeah. If if you play any character like Rolar again, once per round you can kneel a character. One of mine. Yeah. So I think since we're still learning, I missed it. But um, just uh, remember, if you play any cards that have that mm -hmm. roll, roll lore, you can kneel anybody. Yeah. So I will initiate a military first and I will kneel him per three. I will kneel him. So now it is your turn. Um, if you have any actions you want to play, otherwise. But you're not going to attack me? I'm kneeling him for the military. That's okay. attacking. Okay. So now you can decide. Uh, oh, if I block it or not? Yeah. I'll block. Okay, so you kneel him. And since I it is a tie... Um, you get it, don't you? I win. So oh. uh, Fortunately, it was not unopposed, so I don't get a power, but I win the challenge, which means you have to kill one of your guys. I'm gonna kill her because she's. Are you annoying. sure? Because this guy, when he is killed, you can you just return him to your hand. Oh, okay. Kill him. Okay, so just put him back in your hand. <laughs> 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 All right. Um. So next we have the option of power or intrigue. Um. Well, you're definitely gonna win the power. Um, so we'll go with Intrigue next, and he's got Renown, so if he uh, wins the challenge, he gets the power. We'll go ahead and do an Intrigue challenge next. So it's I, that green? Mm-hmm. You have four. I'll pass. Okay. Um, so it was unopposed, so I'll get one power. And I get to choose a card at random. Oh, and he's renowned since he won the challenge. And um, I get to choose a card at random from your hand to discard. Yep. So just hold out your hand and I'll choose one. Yeah. Let's go with this one. Oh, a Serious oh, Training. Oh, that was nerve wracking. Oh god, you must have something good. So that'll well, be your I don't have anything. discard. And then hmm. I'll pass. Your turn. Okay. I feel like I'm missing stuff because you have so many cards out. Well, that's because I had a good hand, starting hand with all these zero cost and all right. two cost things. <clears throat> um so I'll do the. Uh, so I'll do the crown. I guess power. I should. I could move it like this, so you can see better. Uh, so which one are you doing? The power. Power challenge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Um, no, I don't 
once you get in two. So I'll kneel him. And so you win the challenge, but it was opposed, so you steal one from my card for the power. Okay. Okay. Then you have the option of doing either military, well, you don't have military, so intrigue or nothing. But even if you don't have intrigue, I don't. I, everybody of mine is kneeled. So, so you can't do anything. What's that? So I can't do anything. You can still, yeah. Okay, I'll do the intrigue. Okay, so it's unopposed, and you make me discard one. Of discard thing. Okay. Oh, <laughs> And uh, that's all the challenges. Now we'll go to dominance. Um, compare the strengths. Everybody is knelt. Knelt. Everybody is kneeled. Um, and do we have any gold? Nope. So nobody. It's a tie there, so nobody will win. Standing phase. Yeah, there you go. And now we'll go to taxation phase. Return a gold. Nope. And discard down to. Whatever is on the bottom right. I only have one card, so. I don't need to discard any. Okay. And now we'll start the next one. So go ahead and choose another plot. Hmm. 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 Ready? Yep. Okay, go ahead and reveal. Uh, marching orders. So you're definitely the first player because you got the initiative. Okay. Um, you cannot march the locations, or, so that's the one where you just play characters. I have a revealed, so I draw the first ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and. Search the top ten for a character. Reveal it. Okay, so what do we got here? Here's a character. Oh wow. Wait, are you going first? No, I'm. That's one revealed. Remember, we got to do our uh, Roman revealed plots, and I am choosing that guy. He's the Red Viper. I don't know if you know him in the show or not, but. So, search the top 10 cards of your deck for a character. Reveal it. Reveal it. And add it to my hand. Do I do that? No, that's just me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then shuffle your deck. Which I'm doing now. Do you want to cut it? Like this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, and now we... Initiated first player will be revealed. Let's see if I miss anything else. Uh, yeah, okay, so draw step, so draw two cards. Hey, alright. And marshalling phase begins. So it looks like you get nine gold, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine. There's your gold. Take your gold. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to stand there. Hmm. Can I go in the characters now? Uh, so you got your gold. So that, yeah, you, you start playing, uh, paying gold to. Um, Doing your thing. So who you got there? Oh Snow. God! How much does he cost? Six. So get rid of six year golden. Get that crap out of here. Doesn't he have his own TV show too, John Snow? Kit Harrington. 
No, there's a John Show show, right? Is there? I don't know. I I don't know. I'm probably wrong. I saw him in a play when I was in London. Cool. He was in War Horse. Oh. I didn't know who he was at the time, but all the girls tried to ask him to be friends on Facebook after the play. <laughs> okay. So what else you got? You got three gold left. You don't necessarily have to spend it if you want to try and win the dominance, or you can spend it. What's dominance? Remember, if you have characters that are standing or gold left, and you win, you get a power. Oh. So that's sometimes, I can see that as being a strategy for trying to get power. I want to play Sam, too. Oh, is that that? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I get four gold. One, two, three, four. And do I get any other things? No? Okay. Uh, so I will play this. The Blood Orange Grove. It lets me... It's limited, so I can only play one of those. It lets me kneel it to get... A Martell card cheaper. Hmm. Dang it. No, oh, I can do this. Okay. Oh, no, I can't. Wait. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to kneel this. Wait. So we'll pay, uh, so these are my characters. We will pay Neil, Neil, and pay one to play this one. It's a unique. It is the Plaza of Punishment. I'm sure that was in the show. It lets me, after I win in Power Challenge, Neil it to choose a character without attachments until the end of that phase. That character gets minus two and is killed if the strength is zero. Ooh. Okay. Um, and that is all I got. So, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. Um, so we'll put these two over here since they're done. So you're up for the challenge phase first, since you got the initiative. Okay. Um. I'll do the eye thing. Uh, so intrigue. Okay. Four. So five strength total coming at me? Yes. Um. Uh, that means you're going to, if you win, let me discard a card. Crap. Um, so, hmm, what? I will kneel him so it's not unopposed, and yeah, that's it. So, you won the challenge. Um, so you got insight. I believe that lets you draw a card with that dude, right? Yeah. What does it say? After you want a challenge in which this character, you may draw a card. Yeah. Actually, no, you would have a lot more than that. So you need to just consider. Yeah, Fine. actually, you would have, because he's participating, so he goes with the uh, Night Watch, right? Uh huh. So five, nine. So you have nine strength. So you would have won that, anyways. So you draw a card for insight. 
which is nice. And then you also make me discard a card. Okay. Woo. All right. So that's entry challenge. Yeah. So now you got the option to do power or military. Do I get a crown? No, because it was it was opposed. Mm. Well, I think you can only do power anyways, because I don't see any military. Oh, and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do a reaction. After you lose a challenge that the defending player kneels Sunspire to raise the claim. Yeah, so. Wait a minute. Yeah, so. After I lose a challenge um, as a defending player, kneel this to raise the claim value on your revealed plot card by one during a challenge of the same type until the end of the phase. So if I do an intrigue. Never mind. It doesn't matter because it's an entry. I'll not kneel that. Go ahead. Sorry. Because I have to do the same type. Okay, so I'll do this. Uh, what challenge are you initiating? Power. Power. Okay. Um. I still have six. How do you have six? She's not night watch. Look what that says. It says that symbol. He's the oh, only one with that symbol. Oh, then never mind. I okay. passed. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, good. All right. That's fine. I'll accept that. Okay, so my turn. Um, I will initiate... Since I passed, do you get a crown? No, it just goes to me because you can't do any more challenges. Uh, until the end of the phase, this character gets. Ooh, ooh. I get two. So we will do. You don't have any military. Mm -hmm. Um. So we'll do military first, and attack with him. Who are you going to attack? Braided Warriors, military. So he's the attacking. So if you got any actions you want to play right now. Um, sorry, I'm not looking at your crown. Look at that. I don't have actions. All right, so you declare blockers, but you don't have any, so... This is unopposed, so I'll I get. I thought you can't do that if I don't have any. Yeah, I can still do it. Army. Yeah, it's just that you can't choose to. And also, since I won the military challenge, um, you will gain. Uh, you have to kill a guy. Damn it! It has to be a character. Uh, yeah. It says, um, "Finning player." Defending player character kills plot, which is one of his or her characters. So unless you have an action or something, you gotta kill one. Okay. Uh, not from your hand on the table. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Are you sure? I'm just saying. Kill him. Okay. I would probably go for a cheap one. So that's your dead pile. Okay. Um, and now we're going to do... Um, so Call Drogo has a special ability. You may initiate an additional military challenge during your, the challenge phase. So I'm going to do a military again. Oh, and attack with him. So you got any actions? You, tr you got a trick up your sleeve? I don't have any actions. So I'll get one unimposed and he's renowned and you have to kill another guy. On my table? Yep. Uh, oh, okay. I was like, what happened to John? Um, and now we will initiate a power challenge. How do you have all this stuff? Because <laughs> I got characters out. 
power challenge for one strike. Got anything against him? I don't think he can do power. No. So, uh, unopposed. And I get to steal one from your card. Thank you very much. And... I don't think I can kill him again. Okay. So that is it. And now we will go to dominance. So we will compare strength. So you got four strength, five, so one gold. And I only have three gold, so you get a power. Four. Wait, you only have three gold, so I get a power? I have one gold. Yeah, but look who's standing. Huh? Yep. Yeah. All right, standing face. Go ahead and turn your guys back. Okay, and now we'll do taxation. Get rid of your gold. Treasury, got to pay your taxes. Oh. And now we will do uh, discard down to whatever your thing is. I only got one card, so how many cards you got in your hand? Then you're good. Wait, to go. no, I'm not. I need four. How many cards you got in your hand? Three, seven. So you got to discard three of them. Looks like the uh, Targaryen house is uh, kicking some butt right now. Well, I was. Call Drogo, oh, man. Yeah. He is good. I know. I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I actually like this game. What about you? Yeah, I it do is like fun. it. Even with just the, the, the core set, I mean, he can have fun just playing this. We don't even, we're, we really haven't even uh, broke the ice yet, you know, so we don't know what everything we'll get into. I recommend this game. The game was uh, pretty cheap. I think I got it for $30 at a games, uh, local game store. And um, it's uh, definitely worth it just to have a nice, casual, fun night, especially if somebody likes Game of Thrones, that's why I bought it. And then I, like I said, I'm starting to watch the show and it seems pretty cool, so. Targaryen seem kind of strong. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh, so we'll start the next plot. Go ahead and choose one. So yeah, from what I've gained, noticed so far, plot is very important. Yeah. Besides one of the most important. All right, you good? Mm -hmm. Reveal. What do you got? Fortify position. Treat each character as if the printed text below was blank, except for traits. What are traits? Let's see. Traits. 21. 21. Most cards have one or more printed or more traits listed at the top of the text box and printed in bold italics. Uh, traits have no inherent effect on the game. Instead, some cards with abilities reference cards that possess specific traits. Oh, so traits would be like one or more traits listed at the top. So that would be like Dorn, Ally, Knights. So everything else is pretty much uh, empty for this for this phase. So anything on the card is that? Oh, each character. All right, good. Because I was like locations would suck. And I have a noble cause, so I reduce the cost of the first lord or lady I marshal by two. So it kind of makes lords cheaper, ladies cheaper. So it looks like you got initiative again. You you won by one. So um. You'll go first, and now we will draw two cards. Draw your cards. 
Wait, how many cards to draw? You always have to draw two. That's what it says. Um. Yeah. So that way you're never running out of cards, it looks like. Which is smart. Um, so you got your two cards. Now we'll go to the marshalling. I'll get five. One, two, three, four, five. I think you know what I'm going to play. Maybe you don't. Um, so we will... Uh, we'll kneel this. One, two, three... Do I get coins? When it's your marshalling things. I mean, I guess you could get them now. I but... thought you said I one by one. Oh shit, you're right. Whoopsie. Yeah, that cheat. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry. Mom, by it. It's okay. I'll let it slide. <laughs> um, okay, so I have five. I'll get I'm gonna go ahead and spend all of mine in the park now. Does he have the keyword? Rollar? Rollar? No, he doesn't. I was gonna say, don't forget she has that. Well, never mind, you can't because you can't play that. Okay. Is that all? Yes. Alright, so I'll pay, I'll get my five gold. And now I'll play, uh, kneel that for one plus two so that's three and then I'll spend four gold one two three four to play the red viper seven strength what's up wow <laughs> I don't think I even got to the red viper in the show oh really so I got one gold left um, I don't got any gold for anything else, so wait a minute, I got that. Yeah, I can. Okay. Alright, so now we will start the challenge phase. Hmm, what is this guy at? So text is cancelled. Alright, so we're just going by strengths here. Um I'm looking pretty strong here, I'm sorry. I'm looking really strong. So we'll do we'll do military first, and uh, that is my declared attacker. So if you have any actions or anything you want to play, otherwise you got to declare a blocker. I don't have any actions. Any like events or anything like that? Mm. Cost of zero. Nope. Okay. So who are your blockers? Wait, what'd you play? Uh, he's the one that's kneeling for the military. That dude is strong. The Red Viper. <laughs> yes, but what? Now I have nine. Does he have the Nightwatch symbol? Nope. No. Okay, I pass. You're passing? Okay. I, it's up to you because if you if you pass then I'll get a power for unopposed but if you don't pass and you decide to block I can't I won't get a power but you'll still either way you'll still have to kill one of your guys I pass okay so unopposed and then you decide which person you want to kill oh, on the table I'll kill her. Okay. I'm sucking this round. Why couldn't we have filmed the last round? I don't know. Um. Now we'll go to um. I'll try and not beat you up too much, but we'll do. Intrigue. Uh, so the green icon, and we will kneel him for intrigue. 
cast. Okay, uh, so unopposed, and I'll get one more, and I get to discard one of your cards. On the table? Uh, from your hand. Don't show them to me, just let me pick one. Uh, I will choose this one right here. The second from the end. No, that, that one right there. See this one? I didn't see it, I'm just choosing a random, but that's the one I want. Get that shit out. What is it? Oh, it is Sir David Seaworth. Okay, not a big deal. And now power. Um, hmm. Actually. <gasps> yeah. Power. Hmm. I could do something cool if I wanted to, but. Here's the pepper. She didn't have any blinds. Oh, well. Well, she's lying down. Um. So I could attack with power. If I win, I can give somebody minus two. But you'll do intrigue. And that's fine. Um, so we will do power. And Drogo's coming in. Okay. So kneel him. So since I'm tied, I win, but it's opposed. So the only thing I do is steal a power from your card. Thank you. And it's your go. Oh, and uh, after you want to challenge, kneel this uh, until the end of the phase. He'll get minus two, but it's not a big deal. I don't so, have. So he's got, um, he's got a two strength right now, but I don't have any entry guys. Okay, I pass. Well, you still have entry. You can do. Okay, I do entry. Okay, so then, so you'll initiate the challenge first, which is entry. Now, declare your attackers. Which would be Jon Snow, so I kneel don't him. Don't want to kneel him. Okay. Okay, I got you. All right. Um, but keep in mind, though, I have a strength right now of four and one gold. So for dominance, right. I'll win. I'll kneel. Okay. Um, so I have no um, people, so you'll get a power since it's unopposed. Oh, on John? Uh, no, on Mad. And then you discard one of my cards. Put to the sword. Okay. So now we'll go to the dominance phase and um, compare our strengths and gold. So it looks like I have four strength standing and one gold. So I'll get a power for dominance. And standing phase, we'll go ahead and stand. And taxation, return any gold, and then discard down to what your cards are. I only have one. How many cards do you have in your hand? Four. Oh, so you're good. So we'll go to the next plot phase. Go ahead. Hmm. Hmm. Draw two. No, no, no. It's the horizontal cards. You got. You do a new plot. Hmm. Make sure you choose a good one. Okay, I got mine. I am at one. Oh, and he gets a betrayal token. So we'll use these. I guess that's what these are for. Once he has um, three, I have to kill him. So anytime that he wins a challenge, uh, he'll get a betrayal token. So, okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, reveal your plot. Mine is counting coppers. What is that? Wildfire assault. Each player chooses up to three characters. He or she controls kills each character not chosen. 
Wow. Okay, so I keep three and then kill the rest. Those two. And we'll kill him. See, that's a good card. <laughs> Got rid of the... Uh... Oh. Oh, I can only keep two. Crap. Um... I like him, so we'll kill him. There you go, you kind of even the field a little bit. Um, so it looks like you have the initiative, so you go first. So we'll both draw two cards. Hmm. Oh, and um, Excuse me, before I do that, I'll put this guy back. Uh, I had a win revealed, so it lets me draw three cards. One, two, three, and then I'll draw two for the draw phase. Okay, sorry. All right. Did you lose some powers? Lose what? Powers. Powers. Oh, yeah, ten. Remember, I lost this guy, so the power oh, went away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, uh, marshalling phase begins. You get four gold, and you're up. Nice location. That kind of helps you uh, with your gold. Oh, jeez. Huh. Yeah, I don't have enough for him. This is a fun game, I like this. Yeah. Where we at? Paying for who's that? Ranging party. party. Five strength? What? Get out of here. Anything else? I mean you got you can if you got somebody that costs one, uh with the the yellow icon, the bear Barithion or whatever they're called. No, I don't have one with that. <laughs> yeah, that'll let you get one too. Okay. Is that it? Uh-huh. All right, so I'll gain two gold. I won't be that mean to you. What? That would be a good card for you. I like your team. They're my favorite in the show. Really? Mine? Yeah. Why'd you pick them then? Because. Because of John Snow. <laughs> <laughs> John right. Snow, you bastard. <laughs> so we're gonna. We're gonna kneel that and pay one. You can kneel a land? Yeah. Look, read it. Then like that one, it says kneel it. Oh. It helps you. So, um, so I can play. I reduce the cost of the next um, Martell card by one. So we'll play her. And after she enters play, look at the top two cards of your deck. I can add up to one of those to my hand and place the other in the bottom of the deck in any order. So we'll do this one and put this one at the bottom. Okay, and I've got one gold left. I can't play any of those things. Okay, so that's it.
Uh, so now we will go on to the marshaling phase. You're up first. Okay. Yeah. What you got? Now, don't uh, forget, he works well when he's standing, so you got some good stuff going on there. set this up better next time. I like probably next time I have the camera behind us looking over us. So do you think it's better to do one at a time, like one army, and then do one power? Well, it's up to you. The, it, it goes by the strength. So you want to total up your strength, and if you know you can win, then go for it. So um, I can tell you one thing right now that looks like it would be good for you. Because remember, he, he joins the party whenever yeah, so many so I'll do army oh, military yeah okay so all right so what's your total strength 17 14 14 Let's see here. Definitely have to kill somebody. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, nine. You'll get a power, and okay, so it's gonna go unimposed. Um, so you'll get a power for the unimposed. And now I gotta kill one of my guys. Um, sure, we'll kill her. Okay. Any other? Uh, oh. Um, I will reaction. Um, after you lose a challenge as the defending player, kneel this to raise the claim value. Um, by a one during a challenge of the same type until the end of the phase. So if I do a military challenge, which I probably will, it'll be two now instead of one. That's a good card. So next, um, I don't want to play anything else. Are you looking at my cards? No, I'm closing my eyes. Getting that time. Okay. So yep. So you got another. You can do intrigue if you want to with him. Do I have to kneel him? Yeah, you would have to kneel him though. But I would probably win if I decided to block with the red viper. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Okay. Um, so I will initiate a military first. And we will go with the red viper. Um, you got any actions or anything you want to play? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and do it. Uh, so, I will pay one gold to play this. Um, put to the torch. So, it was unopposed, so I'll gain one power for the unopposed. Red Viper has, after you win a challenge in which the Red Viper is participating as an attacker, he gains one power for every five strength by which he won. So he'll gain a power because it was unopposed. And he won by seven strength. Also, um, since I increased the plot um, by this, mm -hmm. you have to kill two of your guys. Okay. Out here? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. 
Do they have any special abilities when they're killed or anything? I don't think so. No. Okay. All right. And then also I played Put to the Torch after I won a military challenge by five or more strength. As the attacking player, uh, choose a location controlled by a losing opponent and discard it from play. Hmm? That gets discarded. Ooh. Um, now I'm going to play... I'm sorry, i got to do this. I'm going to do an, an additional military challenge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, attack with... Is it Call? Is yeah, that how you pronounce call. it? Call? So I think so. Call Drogo. Yeah, so uh, do you have any actions in military that you want to play? No. Okay. So um, since it was unopposed, I'll get one power. And he gets Renown. Say two, four, six, eight, and twelve. Ooh, and um, you also have to kill one of your guys. In my hand. On the table. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. So that was uh, military. He's really good. And now power. We'll go ahead and um, do power. Got anything? No. no. Okay. So unopposed, and I steal one of yours for power. So what are we looking at now? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. Wasn't very much a Game Ooh. of Thrones. Wow, that was pretty. That was a. What would that be? A wombo combo? I guess I need to get it more because you had a lot more shit going on than I did. Well, it's just because I got so many guys out. So that wildfire guys. assault was good. I would have recommend playing it earlier to get rid of. You should have played it. Or when I have that was actually a good time. So this was um, uh, Game of Thrones 2nd Edition. Uh, as you can see, um, it looks like it can either last a while or get dropped off the planet you pretty quick. You play like me. Um, so this is a fun game. Um, did you like it? I did. I like this game. Uh, cool. Because so, um, I know the characters. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. So uh, for the McClicks, uh, we definitely recommend this game, especially for a casual player. Uh, Megan has never played a game like this before. She used to watch me play Magic, but... She never actually played it, so it's really easy to learn. I recommend that you get these, uh, or you go to that uh, cardsdb.com, I believe it's what it's called, and uh, find on the forums this reference sheet. It'll it'll streamline and make things a lot easier for teaching. So Megan picked it up in about 30 minutes, and um, but we both got a few things to learn. Um, unfortunately, I, I, I stomped her pretty bad. Um, <laughs> Just because I have a little bit more history with uh, competitive card games and whatnot. So, anyways, uh, if you saw anything that we did wrong or maybe I messed up on and couldn't do what I did, uh, let us know. Otherwise, yeah, all of uh, all of um, <laughs> thanks everybody for watching too. And she's she's more of a Hero Clicks girl, so she'll uh, she'll want to play Hero Clicks probably probably play with Crypto. And then we got Streaky, too. We got that in the trade somewhere. Happy National Dog Day. Yes, yeah, National Dog Day. All right. Let me take her. <laughs> Let's go, Papa. Let's go, Papa. All right, so this is uh, the McClicks um, playing the uh, Game of Thrones second edition. We recommend it. Uh, pretty cheap. You can have fun with just the core box, like I said. For casual, for definitely couples or anybody that likes Game of Thrones, definitely. Uh, until next time, thanks a lot.